<laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to NBOT. That's nobody on time. You know it. I know it. The little army men that are painted and unpainted next to me know it. It's me. It's me. It's just Sal hanging out with the big man from the east. It's Enrique. What's up, everyone? 98, 98. in the books. We're here. Literally, We're here. Literally in two weeks, it'll be 100. No, next week. No, next 100. week it'll be 100. That's right. Yeah, it'll be 100. Oh, my God. Yeah. Cool, it's right? Ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I couldn't I still, believe it. I still don't and... understand how the Desperado one has the uh, the most views <laughs> <laughs> for, for the uh, for the post with pictures, I guess. With, with thumbnails. Yeah, I don't yeah. know why. I guess people really like that one. That it's Selma Hayek. It's hard to deny oh, Selma what? Hayek, right? You know what's funny? I just, I don't, do you remember the guy that was in Desperado that threw the knives? No, <laughs> no, I don't. Do you never see Desperado? It's been a while. That's the thing. I, okay. I can't pinpoint like a lot of spots. This dude is in like all the Quentin Tarantino movies. Also, long hair, mm. like real, like scarred up face. He's got the the picture of the woman on his chest. Oh, okay. Okay, so that guy, I saw something, and I think it was on TikTok. I that guy <laughs> is claiming that that picture is Salma Hayek. Oh. Oh, the, and, the actual uh, tattoo or yeah, whatever? The actual tattoo. So he got it in prison. Oh, is that Danny Trejo? I can't Yes, Danny, Danny Trejo. Yes, yeah. Danny was, Trejo. Yes. I was like, that sounds like a Danny Trejo thing. Yeah. So Danny Trejo was in Machete. prison. Machete. came out. Yes. So his first movie is, I think it was Desperado. Yeah. And that, or maybe the first time he worked with Salma Hyde, not sure. But that's when he came up to you, he just ripped open his shirt. He said, that's you. And like she invited him over, yeah. Like to her house afterward. The the story was so insane. And that guy, that guy's in like all my like favorite like mm -hmm. movies. Like he's in there. Like he's in Blood In Blood Out. Mm -hmm. He's in Desperado. Mm -hmm. Like I said, all the Quentin Tarantino movies. Dust Till Dawn. Dust Till Dawn. Uh, yeah. He's, yeah, he's in there as well. He's pretty you know, sure he, he was in Con Air. I want to say that he was it, one of the crazy guys. In Con he was. Air. He was the rapist that did all the 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 roses on his uh, arm. I know that he was in. I know he was in Predators, the one with Adrian Brody. So oh, he was really? definitely he was definitely in a Predator movie. I just what I was, was the so sequel amazed to Desperado? That. Was the sequel actually Once Upon a Time in Mexico? I don't Once remember. Upon a Time in Mexico, exactly. Yeah. And then he did a lot of kids' movies. He did like Spy Kids. I'm pretty sure he's in all of them. He is in Spy Kids. You're 100 percent right. And then uh, he was I, in Anaconda. I didn't know he was in Anaconda. Oh, with uh, Jennifer Lopez. Uh, yeah, God, was that yes. a horrible grade? Wasn't Ice Cube in that? Ice Cube was in that. <laughs> he's in Death Race too. I he's in all the. Cube. He's in all the extra Death Races. Yes, which are yes. horrible, dude. Talk about the production, like turning that into a B-rated film immediately. Yes. Like the 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 vehicle construction that went into the sequels, see, well, I guess some of them are prequels, <laughs> but sequels is just really bad. It's like what they did with the Death Race, I'm not the original Death Race, but what they did with the Jason Satham Death Race movie. I mean, they dumped huge money into actually like machine factoring those cars to be as drivable and as realistic as you saw, and not just like, oh, it's just a frame. With like something over the frame and that's it. Like it's not really like a a functioning vehicle. But in in the Jason Statham ones, they were. But when you go into like Death Race two through six, I think is how many like extra ones popped out of that. It's really yeah. bad. It's like cardboard, <laughs> like over a metal frame. <laughs> They're really, really, really garbage. Like full on caca. Like it's it's really bad. Oh, he's in a bunch of bad movies too. Yeah. Like, there's. There's one called The Bubble Boy. I do. Uh, that's with, um, don't tell me. Don't tell me. That's with, um, oh, what, J Jake Gyllenhaal? Yeah, it is Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah, see, it's there. It's it, all buried yeah. there. <laughs> it's, it is. All that knowledge is it's there. It's so wasted. <laughs> it's all there. <laughs> Just trivia. There's another one called Planet Terror. Trivia. Uh, oh, Planet Terror. Yeah, that was the Quentin Tarantino double yeah. film, the the Halloween double yep. films. I yep. I love the, the other Grindhouse. one. Uh, yeah, it's Grindhouse and was it three films? What was the one with um, Kurt Russell where he's the stunt driver that just murders people? Oh, hold on. Because it's grind. Because it's 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 the terror one. It's Grindhouse and it's one other. And that other one is the Kurt Russell one where he's so like. 
He was, yeah, the Kurt Russell stuntman Mike. Yeah. And then uh-huh. he, he, like, he just has a car that, that and he stalks, oh, like, that, girls. Oh, that proof. That's, that proof, proof. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he just stalks women and then kills them with his car because he just collides with them because <laughs> it's like a stunt car, so it's it's made to take damage. So he just goes, he figures out how they drive, where they're driving, whatever, and then he just charges into them, like, in the middle of the night. It's a dark, like, forest street or whatever, like a dirt road. And he just is, like, going 100 miles an hour at them. They're going, like, you know, whatever. They're just gallivanting in their car. And then he turns on the lights at the last second, and then they just crash into one another, like a like a stunt scene. And, like, yeah. there's, like, limbs flying off because a girl's sitting there with, like, her leg out the window. So, of course, that's gone. You know, they're just, they're just <laughs> completely decimated, right? He just straight up murders them. And then I guess one of the, like, the, the climax is that he's doing it again at, like, another, you know, remote wherever... And I guess the girls figure it out, and they catch him before he starts doing it. And then I think it's like one of those round robins where they're like, "I'm gonna punch him." And then because he he turns, he turns towards the next girl. I'm gonna punch him. And then he turns to the next girl. I'm gonna punch him. So they're all like trading blows <laughs> to him until they just they actually just kill him, just beating the crap out of him. Oh, uh, that was funny. that was such a great movie. And it's one of those it's one of those old style horror films where it's like there's an intermission. So it was like a three and a half hour film, if I remember it right. And there was a pause in the theater. You go out to go get yep, new popcorn, yep. and then you come back for yep. the for quote the next movie. And then it's like this really. I I remember, not Death Proof. What was what was the one that Danny Trejo was in again? Um, Machete. No, no, no. In, in that three part, or Grindhouse. Maybe oh, it was. Uh... No, hold on, I'll tell you right now. What was the third? Planet Terror. So Planet Terror had, I can't remember the girl, but she used to date Marilyn Manson, and she had like a a salt cannon for a leg or whatever it was. Zoe Bell. Zoe Bell. Yeah, it was just just such a crazy horror movie, and I'm I'm pretty sure it's just, um, uh, what's his name? What's the director? Um, 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 um. Quentin Tarantino. Quentin Tarantino just having fun with doing. Oh, absolutely. I mean, but that's him. Like, he just has fun doing movie stuff. Oh, okay. I'm good now. You can. All right. So, so, so we, we, we always we always do this after you go like insane and like describe all the movies. What's your fanny? Your favorite Danny? My fanny? Yeah. Oh God. I mean, favorite I love Machete. Movie. I swore that they were gonna do a Machete in space. Like they did they... Machete kills. Yeah, but I, I, I wasn't he like trying to protect the president? <laughs> it, was something like, it was something crazy like that. Yes. Yep. <laughs> I swore that they had to call him in because the president was getting had like a uh, like an assassin was trying to get him, and the only person who could stop him was my chefe. Well, 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 and you know they have like the <laughs> you know, like the, the I mean, god dang it they, they had the damn Mexican flag like pop up behind him, and then the sun <laughs> like is glaring in his eyes, and like it's one of those like ultimate um <laughs> like uh. Like anime, like Wong, it's just like he, him and the flag. Oh god, it was so good. But yeah, Machete's up there. I, it's not fair for me to say Predator because I love every Predator movie. I don't care how bad they are. Um, so Predators is definitely up there. Oh man, I'm exhausted. Yeah, <laughs> like, no, I, I can tell. So, um, let, let me. So he was in Dora, the the live action Dora movie, <laughs> which is hilarious. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I downloaded the wrong one. And I watched that one. <laughs> <laughs> you downloaded the PH one? <laughs> yeah. I was like, this isn't the right Dora, but I'm going to push through. So. <laughs> oh, boots. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. So he's also in Muppets Most Wanted, which is hilarious. Oh, and Muppets it's, movie and with Storch. Dance, right? yeah. Yeah. He's in Storch. He's in Ridiculous Six. Uh, oh. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That's the Adam Sandler version of the... Uh... Yeah. What was that with the, the Netflix? Washington. That was the Netflix yeah. version, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So let's see. He's also in Bullet, Expendables. He um, was in Expendables. He was. He was in the first one, I the 2010 version. That. Yeah. Uh let's see. Heat. I didn't know he was in Heat. Oh, with Pacino and. Um... Yeah, 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 De Niro. De Niro, yeah. What the hell? I didn't. He, he did a he did a movie with Stone Cold called Recoil. I was like called Expendables. <laughs> Stone Cold is in that one too. Yeah, exactly. So this was like called the spin-off of Expendables. Man, those yeah, WWE recoil. movies. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Desperado, yeah, Dust Till sure. Dawn, of course. Blood in, Blood Out, of course. So your favorite one, you'd say, would be between those two, right? Yeah, definitely. Oh my god. Yeah, definitely. Um, 
Predator is up there, but that's like a biased pick. But Machete is definitely, definitely a top tier for me. Because Machete not, is him making fun of himself and just really going deep into that, yes. like, that style of how he's presented in movies. It's really like it's funny too because there's a toss up between um, Danny Trejo and Sean Bean. Uh, the guy who played Boromir in Lord of the Rings. Oh, because yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. they're both known to get killed a lot in their movies. They're always killed in their movies. But I think that Danny Trejo has, like, the record by a little bit. Like, just a little. Like, he just dies a little bit more in his movies than Sean Bean does. But Sean Bean dies all the time. Like, it is all ridiculous. Like, he died in Lord of the Rings. Yes. He essentially got life in prison in, um, uh, what was the movie where... Nicholas Cage is trying to get the uh, Declaration of Independence. Uh, National, oh, National Treasure. Treasure. Yeah, so he, yeah, yeah. Like, he essentially dies there because you're in prison for the rest of your life. Like it's just there's there's so many movies that that Sean Bean just gets absolutely mucked in. <laughs> it's, poor, it's, poor guy. Poor guy. So <laughs> obviously my my favorite one's gonna be Blood and Blood Out. Yeah, Blood and Blood. Again, not and fair because you love it. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> it's just like your Predator. One. Yeah, it's a passion pick. <laughs> for exactly. Sure. Absolutely. But, like, his best acting, I don't know which one it would be. Like, he's just so terrible in all of them. But, like, terrible good. Yeah, like, he plays that niche role that's always there. You're always going to be, you're always going to be that, like, cartel, you know, person. You know, one way or another. It's, it's like that guy Hector that plays every Mexican yeah, but, role. Yeah, every Mexican gangster, <laughs> including Fast and Furious. Yeah. <laughs> El Gato. Well, what was the what was the spot? What was the bar that he was at in the first one when they when they catch Brian trying to snoop on his cars? Oh, El Gato Negro, oh. something like that. I guarantee you, it's El Gato Negro because that's how cheesy it is. Bar. He moves like a cop. <laughs> I just wanted to see what he bought. Yeah. Man, he bought Hector. Bought a bus. Yeah, Hector's. He's got spoony engines on on tall tires or whatever the hell he said that's oh. an, that's another movie bro that you would have to tape my mouth shut because the whole fast and furious i'll i'll quote it for you with the music oh man but now jay i love that movie so much dude oh it's it's, it's called at neptune's nut but I don't think that's the name of the actor. No, that's not the name movie. of the book. I'm about to Google real hard. So let's see I here. Just, I just did. Hold on. No, I'm going gonna, gonna to do this. Okay. Because it was Fast and Furious. Uh, uh, let's see. Comma, Hector's Bar. Okay. I just need I just need a scene. I just If you could just cut me a scene real quick. No, that's, that's his actual bar. Like, I don't want... I don't want like actors. <laughs> like Jun the, Junction Bar and Grill. The a, the a, let me just put in <laughs> El Gato Negro Fast and Furious. Show me a picture. There it is. There it is. Immediately. <laughs> it's called Immediately. El, Gato? El Gato Negro. <laughs> it was the picture and the scene clip. <laughs> like, I knew I was. I knew it's there. It's there. It's correct. I should have oh, never amazing. doubted my own trivia. Never, <laughs> never, ever doubted. It. So it, it's funny because I'm in, I'm finally off of being banned on TikTok, right? And I go live. As soon as I can go live, I, I go live. And yes. I'm, I'm there for a while. Then all of a sudden, I get this anonymous user. It, mm. It's just a profile pic that's nothing. It's a gray, like, silhouette. And they're just sitting in there. So I'm asking for song requests, and I get Nat King Cole. <laughs> None of my followers ever request something from that far back. Yes. So I say, okay, it's this classic. is an old soul. It's an old soul. No problem. Put it on. Then all of a sudden, I'm like, okay, we're in the old. So I start playing old stuff. And then this person's like, oh, that's that's a great request. It reminds me of uh, of Watchmen's opening scene. <laughs> makes me want to throw and someone that, out a window. That <laughs> makes me want to throw someone out a window. I was like, wait. Like I'm and so now I'm starting to smirk because I, I know it's Sal, <laughs> but it doesn't say just Sal stuff like it normally does. It's this anonymous person. So then I'm in battles, <laughs> and the point of battling is to get points. Uh, uh, the first thing to do to get three free points is just to tap me three times that you give me three free points. Mm -hmm. This person's just sitting there listening <laughs> to my music and not tapping. So I'm like. Hey, man, how about some taps? Like, you know, you're listening for free. Like, just tap the screen. I'm on PC. That's what I already knew. I, I already knew <laughs> that immediate. it was Sal. <laughs> confirmation. Immediate confirmation. 
So my guy Sal still comes in to support, even though he has ended his uh, TikTok. Yeah, my TikTok uh, reign was short lived. Short lived, yeah. short lived at all for sure. Now he says Sal's the legend. Yeah, thank he's, uh, you. He's watching thank us you. on Facebook. We're live thank on you. Facebook right Ayo. now. Hey, oh, hey, oh, that's right. <laughs> We're in boomer country right now. Yeah, no, share this with your. Uh, sh- I was about to make a bad joke. Share this with your with your favorite groups. Now, nah, hey, <laughs> put, <laughs> put our links out there. Share them out to everyone, my guy. Yeah, share them out to spread everyone. Spread the love. Yes. So I, I started our campaign of advertisement on Facebook, mm-hmm. and uh, I've done it twice now, where I've ran yep. two different campaigns just to kind of see what's working, what's not. Yeah, robots and we aren't get too one, nice there. Yeah. No, we got one new subscriber. Cool. Um, and I've gotten probably 30 messages from people pretending to be meta mm. to say that they're going to deactivate our account if we don't click this link and register our our, uh, our website or our Facebook page. That's fine. We'll make um, a new like, email address. No worries. <laughs> no, no one's clicking on anything. No one's clicking on anything. I'm just like, well, what are we doing? Like, well, what's going on? Why, why can't we just put our stuff out there? Why do we got to get spammed with everything? Well, and, and where's meta to sit there and, and like, like, Put these people in spam folders. Yeah, where they saying that be. it's okay. How dare you, Meta? How dare you? You know that Facebook is full of boomers, and you're letting them just get you know yeah. taken advantage of by these Nigerian princes. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Someone's got to pay for that pile of gold. That's right. Which, by the way, I had a bunch of battles with Nigerians today, which was amazing. Yeah. No sniping, so was, I noticed. No, no sniping. No, yeah. no, no sniping. Then you had that big four four person battle at the end. There, it looked like. It was. I got, I got to see like the no beginning, but yeah, I got to yes. see the beginning, and then I stepped away. Yeah. Well, me, my band being for a week, people kind of forgot me, so I yeah. came back in. Plus, because of the copyright strikes that I had against me, I'm like on TikTok's bad list. But yeah. I am, I am in the process of developing a three part show um, that will include three different shows a week, and it's going to be shown on our Live Wave That's network. Cool. I'm being told that we're gonna. I'm gonna be broadcast there on the network there on these three shows. One of them is gonna be a scavenger hunt type of show. Oh, okay. The second second uh, part of that is gonna be a love match show that uh, I'm gonna invite Jason and Jenny on. Yeah, and Cecilia. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So that's gonna be another game. It's gonna be kind of like one of those like bachelor bachelorette type of game mm-hmm. and kind of like hooking people up. Mm-hmm. And the uh, last show is going to be a music theme show. To where uh, people, I'm gonna read out lyrics with no 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 tunes, just read them dry lyrics out to them, and they've got to be able to tell me what song it's from. Oh, interesting. So yeah, that's what I'm in the middle of developing that as well. Developing. So all that. yes, so we oh, we will. Uh, you guys will hear about all about that. Uh, what's going on with that? Uh, but I'm also dabbing into the advertisements to get some more viewership going with our podcast. We've got a nice core of people, but we're just trying to expand. That's right. I don't want to hear, yes. I don't, I don't want to know or hear that you actually like physically dabbed when you said that, because that, that would, <laughs> that would cause a lot of problems between <laughs> you and I as, as people. Would it be problems if I dabbed? I mean, imagining you dab. I might as well just imagine you doing what your son does every time someone shows up at your house. Oh, uh, just start twerking? Yeah, just start twerking. You might as well just go all out. Why well, oh. dab when you can twerk? <laughs> all right. I'm, next time you're here, I'm going to dab and twerk. No, no. I don't need you to trip, <laughs> and then I have to take you to the hospital. I don't have time for this. At least let me get some reps in before I have to Wait, lift you up. Do you know how to how to get an ambulance to my house? Yeah, it's called throwing you on my back and strapping you to the top of my car like a moose. <laughs> and then we're just going to drive together, bro. You know what it's going to be like? It's going to be like in Talladega Nights where John C. Riley thought Will Ferrell was on fire. He's like, yeah. I'm coming, buddy! <laughs> yeah. The imaginary fire! That's exactly it, dude. They're like, oh, what are you God. doing? I got me a big game on top of my hood. You got, y'all need to fix him up. He's got something wrong with him. <laughs> I think he fell into one of his bricks in front of his fireplace trying to do what they call the dab. <laughs> I'm telling you, next time you're here, I'm doing the dab twerk. No. No. Well, you better be paying for my food then. So. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't doing no $60 one slice pizza. <laughs> That's not happening again. That didn't happen at your house, so everyone knows, but I'm just saying. <laughs> just, that Wait, was it was never... almost as bad. 
Wait, we didn't have a coupon, a Jason coupon? Yeah, no, at least that was like that's fine. That's that I'd rather do the non Jason the non Jason Jason coupon <laughs> than showing up to the bowling alley and be like, Hey man, you want a beer and two slices of pizza for thirty eight dollars? No, but I guess <laughs> so cool. So ever ever since then sales never come out with I've food. never I choose not to. There's two <laughs> things. One, no one showed up to the Bears game. And right. to the to the Bears watch, I guess, and two, thirty eight dollars for like three slices of pizza and two beers. No, never yeah. again, never again. You can go bob for apples my, on your own. I'm good. That, I could tell my man's face as soon as I said, "All right, here's what everyone owes," and he's like, "I was like, really? Spices. I was like, yeah, I would have ate know? more. I would have <laughs> ate way more. I would have taken a whole plate. And, like you would never see that pizza again." Uh, now nah, he says, "I feel the pain." Yeah, <laughs> it was rough. The things you do to uh, see how people are like outside of work. So I pay thirty eight dollars right. to know what what people are like essentially. Hey, he's never been out again. Never again. <laughs> no way, dude. We got Nahe's birthday coming up. No, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I get him. A, I get him a, do, a, a dollar store card. <laughs> I'll just put like a deflated balloon in there. Be like, you can blow it up. You're fine. You're you young. You're young, right? You got you got the lung capacity to that, do that. Nah, he is the last person you want to tell someone to blow something up. Like, no, not, he's not gonna like that. He's not gonna oh yeah, that's right. Because he'd realize I might as well just be touching his knee while I'm saying that. <laughs> you might as well be like licking an ice cream and looking him in the eyes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, straight out of the back seat of the car or whatever it was. Why are you not staring at me, man? When you're doing that, I'm just eating. You need to relax. It's 2024. I'm eating. Oh man. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just uh Yeah, movies and trivia and El Gato Negro. I'm I'm in. <laughs> I'm committed. I'm pot committed to all those references. <laughs> I'm all about it. Nice, nice. And, and I got uh I got Noah's uh communion coming up this weekend. Oh cool. Oh that's right, you were telling me that the communion boxing event. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to like rethink. Like I'm gonna have to do two separate invites because there's such a large gap between when he goes. Yeah, I'm shocked. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm and shocked. then when the actual the, the boxing starts, like I don't want people just hanging out of my house yeah. for like seven hours. What and a then they crazy concept. Watching. Yeah, no. So I, I started rethinking it. So you're invited to the boxing if you want to. come I appreciate out. that. Yeah. yeah, of course. Um, so <laughs> here's the other. I, I remember I kind of. I, I kind of like hinted at it in Discord. I forgot to bring it up on here. Mm. The church is scared of me. I do recall that post. Yeah, I do recall that message. That's no one's gonna talk because I said something about how they no one's talking to me in the meetings anymore. Yeah, I yeah, do yeah. recall you saying something like that. All right, so I'm I've taken Noah on Saturdays to his you know his catechism classes. Um, so I get in. And there's a lady standing at the door waiting for me. And I, you know, so I get him in and she's like, you know, Mr. My last name, you know, mm -hmm. since you beep out my last name. Mr. Enrique. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And I'm like, yeah, what, what's up? And she's like shaking. And I'm like, what, what's going on? And she's like, well, we still haven't received Noah's um, no, a baptism certificate. I said, you got, come on. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. He's got one class left. What do you, what do you mean? You, I mean, we sent that weeks ago. Like, it was a problem. That the, the old church where he got it done, lost it. They had to recreate it, whatever it was. The damn kid got dunked in water. Yeah. <laughs> All right? So, like, I know this happened. We've got pictures. Uh, so we we sitting there, and she's telling me this, and I said that that's incorrect. Recheck your emails. It was emailed to you guys. I know that for sure. Mm -hmm. So I leave. I then come back. So now she's talking to the father. She's talking to a priest because apparently she thinks she needs Oh, help. guidance. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So she's talking to him, and then she sees me, and she stops and comes and meets me outside. So meet me outside. Like, How about catch that? Me out that? Yeah, catch <laughs> me outside. How about that, right? So she's, she catches me outside, and I'm like, like, what's up? And she's like, look, no, no one has a certificate. So I whip out my device. And I bring up the email. Mind you, this whole time I'm wearing my hat. Oh, uh, I bring God. up the email. <laughs> I, bring up, I bring up the email. And I said, who is this person? So at first, when I saw the email address, it was like the Archdiocese of Chicago. I was mm. like, oh, my God. My like wife a generic, sent it to the wrong person. Yeah. yeah, she sent it to the wrong person. She f***ed up. Like, I don't know. Oh, 
So. It's okay. <laughs> so I'm like, you know, she she screwed up, whatever. I'm like, damn it. Now now I got egg on my face. So she's like, oh, that's so-and-so. And she says she doesn't have it. I said, well, you're looking at it, right? You're looking at it. <laughs> yeah. You see what ago. I show you? <laughs> yeah. Like, you see what's going on. She's like, oh, can you just send that to me? And I said, okay, let me get your email yeah. address. She gives it to me I forward. And I just, I'm standing there and my, my, my foot is tapping like Sonic. <laughs> I'm just waiting because now my son's sitting inside, you know, waiting to come out, waiting for me, and she stopped me. So I'm just waiting there patiently, being nice. I haven't said anything rude. I haven't mm-hmm. said anything. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> she gets it, and I said, okay, we're good now, right? She's like, yeah. And she looks at me, she's like, you know, we've been talking about talking to you for like two weeks, and everyone seems to be afraid of interacting with you. I'm like, why is that? Sounds like a you problem, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> she's like, I don't know, but you know, you're 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 pretty nice. Like I haven't had any I'm like, I know I'm nice. Yeah, what are you talking yeah. about? <laughs> like I'm nice. Yeah. I know I'm I know I'm nice. <laughs> Should have tipped your hat. <laughs> yeah, well, there's the thing. It's because they've all had those interactions with me in church. It's the same people. Mm. She has had one of the interactions with me. She's the one who put her hands on her knees. Yeah, and was knees. just looking at me. <laughs> so I'm like I'm like, okay, well, I don't I don't know why people are scared to talk to me, or whatever. So I then come to his rehearsal in the church. I'm wearing my hat. Mm. They don't they don't say nothing to me, bro. I have won this battle. Yeah, it's over now. It's over. They can't stop. I'm on they're not gonna ever get my hat off in church anymore. I'm gonna be there this Saturday for him to get his body of Christ put in his mouth. Which apparently they has to shove it into his mouth because he can't take it in his hand the first time. Yeah, first which time. Which is weird to me. Yeah, for that. Well, I mean, that was like that for us back in the day. First time, first communion, first time. You gotta go. It's classic. You it's gotta classic. put it into his mouth. It's gotta be classic. First time is classic. You have to go by the book. Then you can go what's, do your hand stuff. What's the book? That is the book. That all the scandals. Change. All the scandals with children in this church, and he's gotta get it in his mouth. Well, are you worried about the priest? I'm worried about the priest. You know, then then change what then what are you what are you doing going back to that church if you're worried about the priest? I'm just saying why is it gotta no, be No, you're not mouth? just saying you're not just saying you're saying dumb stuff. <laughs> That's what you're saying. Because if you were truly worried about the priest, why would you continue going to that then why would you continue going to that clergy into that church? That makes no sense. Oh yeah, that dude is uh he's definitely <laughs> like that. But but not while I'm there, so it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Not in front of me. Not That's in ridiculous. Front of me. All right, he's a mass murderer, but like he's he's chill with me. So like, what's the problem? I'm just saying, let, just put it into the kid's hand. Let let him eat it how he wants to eat it. Why does it got to go into his mouth? It was weird. The, it's classic. It was weird. That's the classic way of receiving the the host, right? Is the classic. What you mean receiving the host? Why are you? That's what it's that? called, right? I don't know. It's the body of Christ. Yes, yeah, the host. I don't know why you keep saying the host. Like he's like he's some kind of like like uh, Here parasite. We go. Or something. Back on the Googles. <laughs> Back on the Googles. At Here least now go. he's agreeing with me. I mean, okay, whatever, but it's fine. <laughs> it's not fine. It is I'm fine. Just, it's fine. You just need to relax. Oh, it's me. I'm the problem. You are the problem. You're clearly the problem. You just had you just had a group of people say that you, in fact, were the problem, <laughs> and then one person was brave enough to confront that problem. Qu- quote: The consecrated host may be received either in the tongue or the hand. The consecration of Christ. Just wh- why are we doing this? Why would it? Is this like a Christian Catholic thing? We're just gonna fight it out forever for no reason. <laughs> forever, bro. I got a white shirt. And a, I got a white shirt and a red cross. You got a red shirt and a white cross. Is that what's happening? <laughs> this is the same crusade. People are just fighting each other for no this reason. This is the crusades. Yes. I'm oh, just down to it's 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 an interchangeable term. The host, the 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 communion, the the holy communion, the the consecration, the. The, the Eucharist, the Eucharist is another one. Well, I mean, yes. you got to stop going. You got to branch out to the white churches. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Wait, here's the other thing. <laughs> so he's missed three masses because you're supposed to go to. Oh, yeah. Masses, there's oh, attendance oh, when it comes into, yes. into the communion. So that's he's right. missing three, which I don't recall the three, but it's over two years. Okay, maybe they got me there. Mm-hmm. So they tell me to go to the three o'clock mass. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, oh, and it doesn't matter like when I do them. I just need to do them. Mm-hmm. Okay, fine. So, I you know Saturday that happened. Sunday I took him to the first one available, three o'clock. The whole damn thing's in Spanish. I understood it, but my kid who's there, it's for him, doesn't understand Spanish. No, oh, but he's there with Why Christ. Would... So 
Yeah, no, bro. <laughs> but... Why would you tell us to go to the three o'clock mass if it's in Spanish? It's about attendance, and that's not about understanding. Just kneel, stand, bow, bow, kneel, stand, He's stand, see, kneel, bow. Well, I mean, tell I Jesus to wake asleep. him up. You fall asleep at everything. That's that's <laughs> that's not like a thing. It's like, oh no, because they're saying in Spanish, I got so sleepy. No, that's not. That's not how it goes. You it's, fall asleep at everything. Things you enjoy, <laughs> things you don't enjoy. I'm surprised you don't fall asleep when you drive. Like. You're just, I do. You see me. I know. I did. See, I, I did. That was different, though. That was a long day. That was a long day. <laughs> this is Sunday, bro. You're fully rested for Jesus. Like you need for to wake Jesus. up. For Jesus. <laughs> and it's in the middle of the afternoon. What are you sleeping from? Having lunch Look, at twelve o'clock? What's wrong I'm with just, you? I'm just. I'm hearing all this Spanish speaking, and I'm just like, it's time for a siesta. And I just put my head down and I go to sleep. So they come up to me. Halfway through the service, uh -huh. and the lady in charge of like the the schooling, yeah, gives me the brochure and says, "Look, you guys don't have to come to this one because we're both sleepy. We're knocked out. We yeah, don't." Yeah, no, she's not giving you a brochure to say you don't have to come. She's telling you you're open mouth snore and you need to just go <laughs> come back next week at a different time. So, so, so um, unbeknownst um, to you, you got the body of Christ and you weren't even awake for it. They just they literally had it. the person come they over there and just dip it on you. Yeah, <laughs> to dip just. Dip, tip it on the tongue. That's what it is. So, and then they hold your nose so you can swallow it, <laughs> 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 like medicine with a with a child. Drink this. I don't so like the she, red medicine. No, <laughs> shut up and drink it. Okay. So she comes to me to tell me that I can go to the English ones that are at Saturday night or Sunday early morning, English and just have night. the father sign the paper that I need signed. Mm -hmm. So oh, I said, oh, she... so she she noted. Yeah, so I got my attendant. It's in my pocket, like my breast pocket of my sweater. So I can't forget to get this thing signed. He's got two more he's got to go to. But, like, this church is just insane. Yeah. I think I've only gone to a bilingual church maybe, like, two or three times ever. Ever. I, I, don't, I don't mind it. Super because nice obviously church, Obviously, I get it. I understand. But, like, don't tell my son who needs an English-speaking teacher. And, look. It's 90% Spanish speaking. So I get we're in the minority of like, hey, you know, students. Sure. But those don't send them. If he's there to learn about like church, don't send him to the Spanish speaking one. No, and sure. even when they when they called it bilingual, because now what happened was they turned three o'clock into just Spanish only after the catechism classes are done. Oh okay. so now so they turned it to to just strictly Spanish, which is fine. But when it was bilingual, it was 75% in Spanish anyway. Mm. So I just, I don't know why the church and I always have to be at like an odds. I just want to go there and just support my God in the whatever way I can. And, and it's always a fight there. I don't know why. I think the, the Catholic in me is just saying that you're being tested. Right? God's testing you. Test your well, patience. If you can I, I be calm, if you can be, though. if you can be calm in my house, you can be calm anywhere, but you're clearly not. You're turning it into no, a game. I... <laughs> like, he's just giving you more opportunities to show how much better you could be in front of your son while he's going through this learning process. Oh, he's sleeping. He doesn't even know what that is. Well, wake him up, bro. <laughs> that's, that's the thing. We're leaning on each other so yeah, we at least yeah. appear to be up. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, I painted uh, eyeballs on my eyelids, so there's no way they thought I was asleep. Right. <laughs> I put the glasses on with the eyes on. Yeah, you wouldn't hit a man oh, with glasses, man. would you? And they're just like those the glasses with the Groucho Marx nose on it or whatever. I'm gonna put on those guys. Who was that fossil man from uh, the World Series of Poker? Who would have oh, like, yeah, the Greg Raymer, yeah. Yes, Raymer, correct. Yes. Oh, classic. I love that you watch that because I used to watch it religiously too. I like, have every year. From I think it's when did Moneymaker win? Two thousand two. Two thousand two. Yeah. So from two thousand two forward, I have every year on a hard drive. Um, I literally have a removable hard drive that's separate only for poker, wow. and it's just every episode that ever been aired ever on ESPN. And then as they went into like poker here, jokes. here's the final table ESPN, and they broadcasted oh, yeah. the whole Life. like the whole 12 to 16 hour thing and you'd see the cards from like two hands ago and that's how they yeah. kind of did that so I, everything up until that year which i think was only a couple of years ago i all, i had all the episodes quote seasons and then just the final tables for like those 
those years forward. Because it ended up becoming like it's just way too much at that point. Oh, it's a lot. Yeah. Like no, I said, I say that go. I say that as I have like a, a hard drive just full yeah, of right, like right. hours upon hour days worth of poker stuff to watch to see how like oh it was just so cool to see the personalities back then and Phil Hellman oh, and gosh. all that oh, stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. So the, you know what's funny was. Um, I watch a bunch of these videos of just Phil Helmuth like going crazy. Yeah, his, his, out, his outburst. <laughs> oh show, my god, he is so. There was, was this classic. guy Tony G. Yeah. Oh Tony yeah, G. that was that was Bro. like second year. Yeah, that was oh, well, second year of it being as broadly cast. I mean, it's it's crazy to find the stuff before Moneymaker and yeah. how like how like old Vegas that even that oh, looked. Absolutely. Even though it was yeah, like yeah. two thousand or nineteen ninety nine. It's absolutely. it looked super old Vegas. Like the it looked like it was taped on a VHS machine. Yep. <laughs> it's like you still had um you still had um like uh uh Phil Halloween you look hyper young. Uh, yep, you, yep. You, had, you had all the all the big players like Doyle Brunson looked like he's never been younger than eighty five ever. <laughs> until he uh, he passed away a couple yeah, years ago too. Yep. But uh, I mean, he always looked just as ancient as he did on the last day. Uh, what's, what? Who's the, who's the big one? Tony. Um, who's the one that Tony they tried? Gwynn. Yeah, it's Tony. Well, it's Scotty Wynn. Scotty Wynn was Scotty another Wynn. one. Scotty Wynn's hilarious. Scotty Wynn's hilarious. I'm Scotty Wynn, yeah. baby. I'm, yeah. uh, Scotty Wynn's all oh. in. I love that. Yeah, baby, I love that. Yeah. That's, Bro, that's the... how I learned how to say win. You know, for as a Filipino <laughs> last name is because of Scotty Wynn. And people are like, win, oh, yeah. Sal, you might have difficult pronouncing this guy's name. It's like Not N- at all. it's N Y G U E N. I'm like, oh, it's Win. Yeah, I know, I know that. I know that. I know that entire like family. I know everything about yeah. that. They're all connected, right? <laughs> it's, but it's like I'm trying to well, think who is the who is the big superstar that in Rounders they're trying to imitate him. Oh, and, and Johnny the, Chan. Johnny Chan. So it's like you still yeah. see Johnny Chan with his like oh, yeah. with the oranges that he used to like thumb in, so that because yep. all the smoking that happened back then. And, yeah, it's it's surreal to think about like the what got me into poker and then what kept me in poker and then how I stepped out of poker. <laughs> like, nah, it just, dude, it was, that was crazy. I used to watch times. that religiously, yeah. religiously yeah. watching that in July and then watching the final table in November. Yeah, because um, now now it's hard to not look at the updates because it all happens in June. Yes. Like it's a summer event essentially. No, right. And I'm yeah. like, okay, I'm trying to not pay like i'll pay attention to everything else but the world series like the main world series main event but it's so hard not to because everyone that's like affiliated with poker at that time is just bombarding yep. every social media and every algorithm so if you ever looked at one poker video of like oh here's how i played pocket h and blah 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 like you're just <laughs> gonna get every single algorithm is gonna hit you with all these reels yes, and these videos it happens all and, the time, yep. yeah it's crazy even even it with deleting twitter it's still it's still not so i still i still enjoy it I, i'll watch poker I stuff it. before i I'll go to bed I'll, yeah, I'll, yeah i'll sit there and watch poker stuff on my way into work like I, I'll sit there and just like I just watch it. I, I love it. And uh, so, who's your favorite character? Like out of all these poker players, famous ones. So, which one do you like the most? That's a tough one because I there was I'm trying to remember his name. I think they call him the Professor. Oh yes, oh, um, man. It was him and his sister because his sister was something Duke, something Duke. Amy Duke. Amy Duke. Amy Duke or Annie Duke or something like that. Um. I'm trying to remember. <sighs> was it Howard Letterman? Was it Varconi? Was the 2002 one? Maybe it was 03 is when it all started. But how the professor was Howard Letterman. Howard Letterman. See, I really enjoyed Howard Letterman because the way that they presented Howard Letterman was like a meticulous, like mathematician kind of approach yeah. to poker and yeah. i really liked that until he got wrapped up in the ultimate bet stuff and i was like oh yes. so you're just a shady mf yes. who's just trying to max out cash like oh okay so it's, it's like that so i it was at and, that point annie that i duke. stepped away from it yeah annie duke was his sister yeah um obviously money maker in 2003 was like the the lightning bolt that struck mainstream well, poker oh yeah it exploded and uh it was crazy i remember uh what was it sammy farha was like the big oh, guy yeah. who got into yeah. it i'm trying to think who fought greg raymer who is the yeah. young who's the young black poker player was john phil something Ivey? william no phil ivy has always been non-stop crazy good phil ivy is like 
the Michael Jordan of poker. I would I would go as far to say that. Oh yeah. For um, sure. but I can't remember like John Williams, Bill Williams. He's a kid. He was like a twenty-two year old kid. That was a lot of that them. that went heads up with Raymer. God, I can't remember his name. David Williams. David Williams was oh, another young guy. Yes, and the big yes, thing yes. is, I remember he him did. because his mom was like always oh, cheering him on in the background. And then his mom ended up becoming a poker player because he made so much money. David Williams also went on like a season of Master Chef or not? Was it Master Chef? It, it was one of the Gordon Ramsay shows where he ended up going into that for a while. Who else was so there? you know, I would watch him on. It was a a thing. I think it was. Uh, it wasn't Poker After Dark. It was another show I used to watch where they would do um, like one like amateur that mm -hmm. they would stake. Oh, about. that's um, that's another table, but it was part of WPT. Yes. Um, yes, oh yes. man, I can't. Yeah, you'd have an amateur come in, and then like the pro would sometimes go like down the aisle to the couch and talk to the. Yeah, Talk yeah, to like yeah, the yeah, announcer yeah. girl. Who's, like, who's, the, all who's the Canadian that knows everything about everyone? Um, oh, that's Dan, a, Danny Negreanu. Oh, yeah, Negreanu. So bro, Negreanu, he's, and he still does crazy big table bro, stuff. And, and you saw he got like hair plugs in, like his hair. Yeah, like, like he nice went. Now. He went. Yeah, he went. Uh, he went all out. Yeah. He's <laughs> like he's like a, a top money guy now. Like he's on top of all. Let like, me look the at let me look at the twenty twenty three stuff. But yeah, it's it's pretty. And then like the people who are there now are like. It's like the the final tables aren't like what they used to be, and it's mainly because of size. Like I remember, wasn't it Dan Harrington went back to back and yep. never had like, and he was like a super old dude that always had like a Boston Celtics hat on. Boston that. green Boston Celtics yeah. hat. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's just it's just like the characters from back in the day were amazing, and you don't you don't have characters like that because now it's established. Yeah. So now it's like you do it as a job. You don't do it as like a. Like this is my last one off, and I'm just I'm gonna throw ten grand at Vegas and hope for the best. Like, no, right, it's not like, like that. that anymore. No, no, man, what a what a it's it's surreal to think about how much poker is actually in my brain. I still oh, love watching yeah. WPT because the commentary team is way. I'm 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 always happy with Norm and um, Norm, Norm Chad. You Norm saw he Chad. just. He just started his own uh, poker room. Yeah, yeah, he has his he, own like dedicated room now. He's hilarious. Yeah, like, but he, I love the I love Chad. the WPT. Yes, Chad and Chad and Norm or whatever. Yeah, yeah those yeah. guys were. Now they don't do it. Now he uh, Chad does it with the female now on the World Series of Poker stuff now on Poker. Yeah, Go, I but, can't remember. Um, and she she tries too hard to be funny, but like Norm was so hilarious with stuff. Yeah, he was just mad. And then he do. I can't remember the like the goofy, um, the goofy stuff that they used to do. Well, there was one time they had them do like a four-part event. I forget what it was called, like the poker cup or something, where they had them kick a field goal. They had them play like golf in da Daniel Negreanu's backyard. Uh, they had <laughs> do like that, race. Yeah. Oh my god! So there was one guy. I forget who it was. Went to kick the field goal and like tripped, and then like the the lady who was like throwing it back to them threw the ball back. And it like bounced and hit him in the face. So he, <laughs> not only did he fall, but he also got the ball in his face. Was so hilarious. I just watched that because I, I, like I said, I've been watching. Yeah, the it's just there. It's, it. yeah. They always pop up. They always just yeah. know when it's because the banners are up on fifty three two to get start getting down to the horseshoe to go do their events, oh, their nice. satellite events. Was yeah, it's, yeah, it's Tony? It's Tony Dunst and Vince. It was like it was like one of those. Um, Van Dyke names like Vince Van something Vince Van Pattern or Patton or whatever. That's the WPT crew, and they're they're super goofy because the Vince Van guy is like the analytical person, and oh, then really? Tony Dunst is like the, it's just a goofball. He'll he'll say like that really weird like oh yeah you this guy used to go on Ace King all the time just as many times as I went out with blah blah blah. Like he just makes it a really weird oh, joke. Trying to be norm. Yeah, just to be yeah, norm. he's just trying to be funny. But like he ended up being really funny because it's so awkward. It is funny. So like it ends up just and then he's built his whole like persona around that goofy care you know caricature or whatever that he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, no poker is great. <laughs> <laughs> poker is awesome. I am right there with you, going all the way back to 2003 with Money Maker and 2002 with whatever the German guy was, the ball headed German dude who like paid Helmuth to teach him how to, oh, you know, yeah. the like training sessions back when you could have a pro teach you how to do that. Who was the guy that wore the cowboy hat that could like slice bananas with cards? He looked like Jesus. 
Oh, oh, David Ferguson, no? Yeah, I want to say yes, because that's just a name that sounds right in my head. <laughs> they call him G Chris. I'm sorry, Chris Ferguson. Chris Ferguson, yeah. Yeah. I wonder where I got David Ferguson from. I remember Chris Ferguson. We're probably thinking about David Blaine because he's doing magic tricks. Yes, <laughs> that's, probably, that's probably right. No, yeah, no. He was he was definitely poker Jesus. Yeah, or, that's yeah. right. So they gave him some Jesus nickname because he had the beard, he had the long hair. When he took the huge, like, 10-gallon hat off, he, lo he legit looked like how Jesus presented. It's, it's, Absolutely. It's yeah. Oh, my God. This yeah. is bringing back so much. Yeah, it's very it's nostalgic. Cool. It's very nostalgic. I love poker. We I should remember, have a game. We, I mean, we tried. And then it, uh, another thing that fell through, not because of work, oh. but, but it's just, it keeps, you know, because we were trying to summon the demon with the pentagram or whatever the first time we did it. <laughs> and uh, the, they didn't like that, apparently. And then uh, who knows what's going to happen <laughs> next time we try and do anything. And, uh, I know. I was start I started to get uh, messages at like six six thirty in the morning from Reed because he was at like an, a he was at a convention the other day and he's just like spamming me with these text videos of him looking at dice sets at this convention that he went to. And he's like, oh man, well, should I get this one? Should I get that one? It's like you know, it's all different types, it's all different sizes, different colors, different styles. I was like, dude, get whatever you think looks cool because there's no wrong answer for dice. Just get what he's like. Oh man, what do I gotta do to get in your game, bro? I'm ready to game. I was just like, there is no game. Don't make me cry. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. <laughs> and then he ended up showing up at the office like as I was leaving on that day. I, I it had to be. It was definitely this week. So it was, it was either Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. But he comes in and it's just Sal. What's up? And he just fist pumps me. I'm like. Keep sending me those videos, bro, because I'm trying to live vicariously through you. I haven't thrown dice in years, so or it feels like years, but yes, yeah, it, it was just a, it was just a really cool, like, random wow. moment. I mean, I, I really that really disappoints me too. Like, yeah, was really we were so pumped. We had a full crew. Man. I made maps. I had stories. We were ready to go. I Sal still, so I still have the bags of stuff. stuff. I still have the stuff. Like the books, the clipboards, the markers, the dice. Everything is still in my car. It's still in my trunk, ready to go. Just in case seven people want to jump in and play a D&D game randomly. We got to, you know what? We got to do CPR to it. We got to figure, we yeah, gotta we got to figure out a way to relive it. I'm, Dar, was it, I call my guy Dartonius? Yeah, Tony, something like that. He needs to live. He needs to tell out his story. I'm trying to remember Jason's name, and I knew it was coin. Oh no, but... the Dragon King. The Dragon King. That's right. He gave him... oh. his name was the title. I loved it. <laughs> I think Janet had um, what was the girl from Game of Thrones? She had her name. Oh yeah, um, Khaleesi. Khaleesi. Yeah, real then... original. That's okay. Come <laughs> <It's> from <laughs> the guy who said Darktonius. Come on, bro. <laughs> I had to name cities. I don't care what kind of names. You guys had to come up with one name. I had to come up with like 40 what? names. They're all after cereals, which was super creative. Yeah, but there was still stuff. There's a lot of NPCs, a lot of non-player characters you guys had to interact yeah. with. No, no, no. I, I, look, what you did was I was, was ready. Incredible. My body was ready. Yes. Yeah, I know. Oh, my God. Who is this? Uh-oh. We're having a, a text message now. Yeah. But you don't work tomorrow, so what are you talking about? Alrighty. It's not good. I'll we'll figure that Someone, out later. Someone's confused about their schedule. No, Someone... I, I got confused because I, I miswrote who their name is. But yeah, so they're whatever. I'll figure it. It's an 8 a.m. schedule. I'll figure it out. Um so I so I, I talked to the the guard who had the Oh the person? Mm, yes. How'd that go? No, I mean he he didn't deny that he had someone there, like you know, he yeah. told you whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I said, what, 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 what are you doing? Like you're you're making stupid money and you're trying to lose your whole job over having an unauthorized guest. Oh, I'm sorry, boss nice man. It won't happen it. again. Nice I said, what, like, what are you doing? Guest. <laughs> I asked him about the uh, the Titanic windows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> that's right with the with the Paul. Yeah, no, I got there. I got there. <laughs> <laughs> he just he just said that the there was no AC on or nothing on. So okay, dude. The okay. They were just they were just in there breathing hard apparently. Yeah, just lower it then. What are you what are you talking about? So there's no AC, so you kept the windows up. That doesn't make any sense at all. Oh, uh, they're trying to stay warm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, Louise, oh, what a can oh, of cheese! Insane. Yes. Insane. 
Cool. Yeah. No. So to double down on work stuff, let me tell you how my day went. Uh, atrociously. Oh, yeah, guys, it was yeah, bad. We don't even. We don't have enough time to go through it. But like my my um, my home run hits for the day were a six o'clock shift that called off at like four thirty in the morning. Quote: I can't make it. My car is not working. I'm like, your car is not working at four thirty in the morning. It just shut down. <laughs> okay, so I had to pull a field manager to go cover that post because my patrol guy is covering like a special detail in the middle of Skokie or whatever. So I was like, cool. So I'm, I'm immediately short three people. The person that called off, my field manager, and my patrol guy. Then I get a call for an 8 o'clock shift just like this, but not in advance. Just like this where they're like, oh, Sal, it's, uh, it's like 6.45, 7.15, whatever. It's like it's... It's less than an hour to get uh, till the shift starts. They're like, oh, I'm not going to make it. I'm like, okay, is everything okay? Oh, yeah, my babysitter canceled on me. I'm like, so can you get, like, a babysitter to, like, to just another one? Like, can you just start late with the Like, if you can show up late, I'm okay with that because I don't have the bodies already. I'm preemptively out of, like, people to fill in. <laughs> so they're like, oh, yeah, no, I could be, like, maybe a half hour, 45 minutes late. I was like, you were going to call off the whole day? Just because you were going to be a half hour late? They go, well, you know, it's not really a half hour. I'm technically with my kid all day. Yeah, but you just told me you could be there in a half, you know, a half hour after the shift starts. Yeah, I'll be there a half hour after the shift starts. That's okay, just text me when you get there. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll figure it out. Um, I had someone who started at 6 and like around 10 o'clock was like, Sal, I'm just so sick. I couldn't make it. I thought I could push through, and I can't make it. And while they're texting me that, I'm texting the supervisor. I'm like, hey, do you know what's going on with your person? Oh, yes, yeah, she's she's been coughing. Okay, but is it, like, really bad? Or, like, fill me in. If, if Describe. Expand. Give me some more context. Oh, yeah, she seems sick. Okay, th thank you. I'm just going to tell her to go home. Cause she's one of the she's one of the people who hit that marker. So I was like, whatever. This will just save me time. <laughs> I can lower my overtime because I can send you home, and you are there. Yeah. I had another person who thinks that my number is someone else's number, so they've been texting this other person for months, for months, saying, "Hey, I'm calling off. I can't make it." Because every day I get a text from every day. Most of the days I get a text from the other supervisor at the other spot saying, "Hey, Officer X called off, and he said the." texted you i go no he didn't he goes well are you gonna get someone Pro probably not because you're there that's what you're there for all oh, right i go you can you call your like 3 p.m people to see if they want to come and split the day with you just to make it a little easier well i don't have their numbers what do you mean you don't have their numbers you're the supervisor jesus do you only have the numbers of the guys that like work with you in the morning and that's it Go, you're the site supervisor you should have the site's information oh Sal, so, you know i don't do anything on 3 p.m okay wow. all right yeah let me make a couple calls and i'm going to text the guy who thinks that he's texting me all the time so lo and behold he's texting like another manager who who just thinks that he's me now i don't know if that manager is responding as me or <laughs> Because he sure as heck isn't forwarding me the information. That would be hilarious. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on with that, and that's something that I'll deal with next week. Uh, what else happened? I had another phone call on how someone who was a former supervisor uh, informs me that an officer who did not hurt themselves while they were on duty, but they're complaining about chronic pain, he's like, they, they're, they're feeling really bad, they're almost immobile, they have a migraine, it's so bad, whatever. Um, she's wanting to go to the hospital. I'm like, all right, so call 911. She's like, oh, well, she's asking one of us to drive her there. No, because if you're on duty and you leave the site in your personal car and you get in a car accident, guess who's going to pay for it? Right. You, dude, because you're doing stuff that you're not supposed to be doing. You're not a taxi cab. Call 911. That's what it's for. Oh, yeah, but you know, you know, taxis call. I know that. I absolutely know that. The taxis, <laughs> taxis, the, the ambulances are expensive. I yes. absolutely 100% yes. know that. But also not my problem. 
Right. Tell her if she's in pain, she can either exit and go home, or she can call the hospital and do whatever. Or call the hospital, call nine one one, and do whatever she needs to get done. Lo and behold, it's like a really big injury, a chronic injury that's like flared up, and it's like it's good that she went to the hospital in the first place because she just sent me a notice that says that she can't work for the next three days because of medication. Blah blah blah. Oh, so I was like, yeah, it's a big deal. That was a big deal. So going back to the person who called me, the the former quasi supervisor, I'm like, you've never called nine one one before? Like you never got training on that? Like, that's not something, I mean, I understand, like, okay, you've never done it. That's great, because there's never been an emergency at the site that you've been at. But not knowing what to do is really bad. <laughs> like, yeah, right, absolutely. The whole point of being in our role as a security person is that you're trained for things to happen, but you just hope that nothing does happen and you have a boring day, because a boring day means you go home safe. You don't need to be a cops episode every single time you go to work. Like, that's not what you want in security. You want hey, boring boys. days. Yeah. What you want, what you want to do. Thumbnail. Yeah, exactly. So it's just, it's just, uh, it's just surreal to hear these, just to hear people tell me that, like, I don't know what to do or I've never done that before. I'm like, you don't have an operating manual at your site, like, your site had, like, a big manager, like, the guy that we were complaining about the last time. Like, you had a big manager at your site. He didn't make an operation manual on how to work the post or how to respond to emergencies. Like, you just have blank schedule forms and key cards, and, like, that's it. That's all you guys know. God forbid something actually happened. What if there was a fire that happened? What would you do? And please don't tell me you'd grab the fire extinguisher, because that's not step one at all. Not at all. And he's like, well, you know, it is what it is, Sal. And I'm like, it is. I hate I hate it when when officers tell me it is what it is because it's not. It's not. And why wouldn't you tell me this before that you don't have a manual that tells you what to do? You're just going to wing it? Because clearly you winging the most simple thing of just hitting three buttons on your phone is not sufficient. Not at but all. you could call me to tell you to dial, to dial 911. I don't know. It's just, it's again, it's like I'm, I, I try... I, I try, man. I try to be calm with people of all ages, sizes, creeds, whatever. And then stuff like today happens where it's like call-offs at last minute, no shows for people who get premium rates who like cry over the phone to me that they need hours and then they don't do it. People who I tell them what to do and how to, you know, essentially cheat the system so that I don't have to do the discipline stuff and they still don't do that. Like, I, I can only give out so many carrots on sticks as well as, like, a bag of hay. You might as well have the deed to the farm. Like, I'm just giving them everything. And, like, what do I do when someone is hurt? What do you mean, bro? Even if you don't know what to do, why is not 911 the first thing you do? Because, like, God forbid I don't answer the phone because you're calling me at, like, 6, 7, 8 o'clock at night. I'm wasn't not. The, uh, yeah. Wasn't there a skit on Little Rascals where they're like, "What's the number for nine one one?" Yeah, I got a dollar. I got a dollar. That's them every paycheck because they've spent <laughs> it all with the with the app that lets you spend it earlier than what you should. Oh my God! Yeah. All you got is a dollar. That's right, and that dollar got taxed. So enjoy it, because <laughs> <laughs> because this is crazy. I was like, I just don't get it. Why are you in security? I like if you're in security as a job, get out. You know. This is not a job thing. It's it's a job, yes, but like if you're treating this as a job versus career thing and you're just here to collect a check, like doing the bare minimum is not just showing up to work when it comes to sites that involve like machinery, sites that are warehouses where you can get hurt. Like, yeah. okay, if you're sitting in front of a lobby at a desk, sure, there's there's probably a first aid bag that's near you. But you're not responsible for the first aid bag. You're just responsible to get the basic information, who, what, where, why, when, and then just call 911 and give them the who, what, where, why, when, and then just hold the effing door open when the EMT show up or the That's police it. show up or the fire. You're just there to hold the door to get the real people to come in. Because if you were a real person, you would know what to do. Side note, you're trained on what to do anyway, just in case. Because God forbid someone's actually like bleeding out in front of you and you're like, well, this one Band-Aid isn't working. What else do I do? Like, okay. it's, just, it's just insane. <laughs> you're, you're trained to be prepared and you're prepared to be reactive. 
but you want nothing to happen, obviously. It's the same thing as a police officer, same thing as EMT. You think police officers go into their, like, shifts or LEOs go into their shifts and be like, man, thank God my gun's fully loaded today so I can just go berserk. Or, or an EMT's like, man, I really hope I get four heart attacks tonight because I just studied about heart attacks yesterday. No, man, they want nothing to happen because that means everything is cool. Everything is copacetic. Everything is chill. Exactly. You don't want activity. Activity is bad because that yeah. means bad things are happening. Oh my god, the yeah. amount of like actual emergencies I've gone through in the now near decade of doing security. I mean, you with with the two decades of doing security. No, right. I mean, I don't understand how if I had if I was officer, you know, A through Z. That, that shadowed me while I was actually doing real emergencies, they would be lost. They would be lost. I don't understand this, This like, I don't want to say new generation because I'm not that old yet, but, like, I don't understand <laughs> this, like, post-COVID, mid-COVID, post-COVID, like, swarm of, of uh, like, a group of workers that are just there. They're just there. And then somehow, like, they barely work or they don't work for two months and they're still in the system and they're like, yeah, man, if I get hours, I get hours. I'm like, then why are you even employed? Like, what are you doing? There's no COVID benefit. COVID broke us, man. COVID, COVID broke the, the employment, like, everything. I just don't understand free. how you can be employed and then not scheduled for, like, anywhere between two to four months and then maybe just lost in the ether of like a swarm of people and you haven't been terminated because of inactivity, but you don't call like your supervisor or your boss and be like, Hey, I need hours. I got to pay bills. I got to pay my phone. I got to get groceries, whatever. Like, so you clearly have another job or yeah. there's, or there's like a service program that's helping you or whatever, maybe a family member or a friend, or you're bunking on somebody's couch or whatever. Like, but like, you're not concerned about the job you were hired for. So why, even apply for a job like what and also where's all this money coming from and why don't i have it like so that it also that also pisses me off let me that, get a piece of that free off. money pie yes. that'll piss sal off more than anything else is people who aren't like out there hustling to get the money that's available and he's sitting there with all this like all this i, got, I got this stuff i got all this stuff and i hate it and I'm out here breaking my back. I'm doing these podcasts. I'm doing the streams. I'm I'm selling the models. I'm painting stuff up. I'm like doing three jobs, four jobs, maybe five if you think this job is two jobs. Because right. it's just it's bonkers out there. And it's like you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do to make money. I get it. But like throw that cheese at me. I'm I'm all about what I want the cheddar. I want that stuff. Give me give me that bag. Give me that bag. Give yes. me that give me with that stack. Yes. Let's go. I'm God. What's the other phrase? I hate myself for saying that. Like, let's just, <laughs> let's just, let's go, man. Spread the wealth. You, hey, he needs that drip. No, Get no, because that, that means I, I don't mind looking bad. I, I'll look dirty. I don't care. Just give me that money. Uh, money, money, money. I keep joking with my wife. I'm like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start washing my feet more, and I'm going on the, I'm going full foot. The only foots. Like I'm just gonna start. I'm gonna make my own website. That's, that's not what a website stands for, bro. <laughs> only foots. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna change the algorithm. Oh, the S at the end of foot is annoying. <laughs> the only <laughs> foots. That's right. <laughs> you know, and the, the other thing I do that too is jewel. Everyone does jewel. They say jewels, and that's not right. It, it annoys me. So I I, it's I bother my wife a lot because I say mooses, uh, knowing that it's going to bother her because moose is the plural and the singular. Yes. yes. So Jason yeah. sends me an uh, uh, Instagram reel mm -hmm. where there's a jewel on in the south side mm -hmm. that apparently has some like big huge activity where there's like a fight going on and the damn title of the reel is jewels on said street. Yeah. Oh, I was like, this is so cringe for me. <laughs> I just I can't because I worked at the command center there. And I, I used to like handle their emergencies for the for my company, my yeah. old company, like. It just annoys me. To and it's like, a Chicago anytime. staple. You should know better. You should know better. Just like people say Illinois. Yeah. Oh, at least no. at least hit me with the fake French. Go Illinois. Like go <laughs> just like Tarjay. Like you gotta hit it with the funny side. Tarjay. Yeah. Oh my god. You gotta go fancy. Dude. I walk into Tarjay with like a flute full of a full of uh, champagne. Like I don't play around. 
My man, with the pinky up. Yeah, with the, the pinky, pinky up. up. Pinky up. I got yeah. that extender for the cigarette. And the whole thing. I go full 1920s, like, um, like flapper, <laughs> flapper era. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> that, that's amazing. But, uh, yeah, no, dude, we're at, we're at time. It's yeah, time. yeah, not a lot of work stuff, but it's sometimes it doesn't take a lot <laughs> to, no. to, to set us off. But my, uh, my, my man was on fire when we first started, like our little yeah. pregame, like what we're gonna do. My man was on fire. I'm like, oh, I was really, he, I was really mad. And then he started yeah. talking about Machete, and I was like, all right, I'm all right. Yes. I'm okay. Yeah, I, knew, I, knew, <laughs> I know how to defend yeah, my guy. Yeah, I'm good now. I got different energy. I got different. <laughs> oh energy. yeah, that energy. I was just like, oh, dude, you should start okay. recording. Are we recording? You said a couple things that you probably shouldn't say. Are we recording? I was like, okay. <laughs> But uh, nonetheless, thank you everyone for hanging out while we do our live cast for MBLT here. Uh, we appreciate you all jumping into the social medias that we have. Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, Discord, YouTube, all that. TikTok still. Uh, we love all you coming in here. We love the comments. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. Hit the bell so that you know what's up when it comes to good things with stuff. Um yeah thanks a lot we're at what this is 90 what did we say 98? 98 we're 98. on the verge of 100 we have like 114 subs which is great you know it's good to see that natural growth and like maybe we'll see that i want to say unnatural oh, robot natural. growth yeah, yeah, yeah. that ai growth side note but ai stuff is that... getting crazy bro it's starting oh, to get... i know it is that I that new it. atlas spot that came out with like the uh, ring yeah. the ring light and then the dark was it just a blank palette uh, for a face I'm ready to fight. I'm re I, I would I rather fight robots than are. bugs. I can't do bugs. I'm not a bug guy. Everyone's playing Helldivers. It's pretty much just like, you know, it's just an ultra military uh, against either a swarm of bugs or a swarm of robots. Give me robots all day. Give me robots all day. I can't do the... Oh, just yeah. thinking about... Because I think about the scene in King Kong, like the newer King Kong with Jack Black. Oh, where yeah. Where they're in that yeah, pit. Yeah, yeah. They're in that yes. pit and they're doing all that bug stuff. You know that they... What's his name? Um, um, who's the director of that? He's the guy that directed... Um, the Lord of the Rings movies. Um, oh, Peter, Peter Jackson. Jackson. So Peter Jackson tells everybody for that bug scene, he goes, just completely improvise everything in a green screen. He goes, just here's your start point. Here's your, this is this is the line that you're going to walk. And here's wait, the wait, end wait. point. Peter, I don't think Peter Jackson. Wasn't it Peter did, Jackson? You know, no, it wasn't Peter Jackson. Peter Jackson did the first King Kong that like kind of kicked off everything, but he didn't do the Jack Black one. I thought he did the Jack Black one. No, no, hold on. I don't. I don't think that's right. Uh, yeah. See, I'm doubting myself. Okay, so King Kong, 2005. It was Peter Jackson. Give me my money. Okay, you got it. My Give bad. me my money. I don't, I mean, know, I don't how know much did they make? They made 55.6 million dollars. Give me my money. Yeah. Well, so yeah. anyway, so he tells them, "Here's start point, end point. This is the line you walk." He goes. He goes. Do whatever you want to do on this line. He goes, wheel your arms around, do forward rolls, do whatever you want to do. Any type of physical action, as long as you, from the beginning, you start doing the physical action, and you just continue the whatever craziness you're going to do, and all the way to the end of the line. So he had every actor do their own, like, like single line behind a green screen a couple times. Yeah. And then all the, the CGI artists or the CGI team um, put the bugs in after the fact. So they're like, we're just going to have whatever reactions you did, we're customizing every single reaction with a bug after the fact. Instead of like telling people, okay, so from point one to point two, you want to flail up and to the left. From point two to point three, you want to flail up and to the right. They're like, just do everything and we'll customize it afterwards. So that whole like scene was essentially like a CGI improvisation. It was, it's no. really crazy, but it's disgusting. And I can't stand. I can't stand it. When the bug ate Smeagol or whatever his actual name is, the guy who oh, voices Golem, yes, when he yes. ate his arm, and then the big like worm bug ate his head, I was like, absolutely not. King Kong can just step on me all he wants. Absolutely not. Am I touching bugs? Because I'm not a spiders guy. Bugs are like, Ugh. but like, yeah, no, either. thank you. I will. I will literally be that little girl that burns the house down. It's oh, like absolutely. this is not fine. I'm the dog sitting in the kitchen with the house. <laughs> this is not fine. This is this, there's a reason this happened. It's not fine. But anyway, so uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> Just again, I can't control myself. We appreciate you all hanging out with us on the YouTube, Twitch, and TikTok as we go live. Check out this episode. Check out future episodes. Tell us some of the crazy shenanigans you guys deal with with your work situations, or maybe uh, what 
completely like irrational reaction you would have to seeing a bug or a spider because i literally have a blowtorch you know within 10 feet of me in my garage and i see one it's being turned on i'm going i'm going full flamethrower on this this sucker but uh we'll catch you on the flip side and as always stay classy you know what that's probably why i don't go to detroit because the dirty is full of bugs and i don't want to fight bugs bugs. (laughs) i just just don't want to do it sorry detroit get a better pizza maybe i'll think about it but anyway see y'all later have a good night take care everyone